Rebuild ML is a takeoff tool for the full frame and siding portions of a project. The software lets you effectively calculate materials in all phases of a job, including the floor system and wall assembly components, as well as roofs of all types and their associated materials. To begin a roof project in Prebuilt ML, often the best place to start is with the rafters. Here we've picked the roof container tool and started to draw one side of this roof. As the container is being drawn, rafters are automatically generated. These rafters, though drawn as flat on the page, have had their lengths adjusted to compensate for the pitch of the roof. As with many other tools in Prebuilt, settings can be easily adjusted on the fly. For example, we can change the spacing from 16 inches to 24 inches on center to match the plans. And with a few clicks, we can make the rafters align with the markings that have been placed on the plan page. Once all the settings have been made for the rafter container, we can draw additional rafter sections using this first container as a template until all of the rafters are in place. With this completed, we can move on to other components of the roof. Barge and fascia, or eave blocking, or roof decking, are all items that can be accounted for with the software. Here we are drawing the ridge beams. After drawing the segments in place, we go to the takeoff items lists and assign a product to them. First, we'll pick an application such as roof beam, and then find the product we desire to use for the ridge. If we need a more specific name for the application, it's easy to rename it to something more fitting, like ridge beam. We can also fine-tune the settings for the beams by right-clicking them. We can change them to two plies and also set the condition to flush. This will cause hangers to be generated automatically on the rafters that intersect the ridge beams. Another useful tool that Prebuilt provides is the ability to view a roof in a three-dimensional model. This can be useful for an estimator to verify that pitches have been set correctly, beams are being sloped properly, and that the architect drew the plan accurately. After materials are drawn and linked to a pack, any adjustments made to them later are continually being updated on the reports. There is no need to keep track of quantity changes as the project progresses and is adjusted. Prebuilt takes care of that for you in the background. But as we look at the takeoff items list, we see some with a red circle and a white X next to them, such as these hangers here. This is a warning that these items have been drawn but haven't been assigned to a pack yet and thus will not be in the material reports. As we assign products to these items, they are linked to the default pack that is set for the page. The red circles disappear and we can be confident that the material we've drawn will be in the material reports. We can view a report by going to File and selecting the desired format from the numerous options. It's that simple. And an export to an Excel spreadsheet is just a click away. As we look at the report and scroll down to the roof, we can see that all the applications we've drawn from the ridge beam to the over-framing material have been accounted for. Whether you are working on a simple shed dormer or a large custom home with a hand-cut roof, Prebuilt ML has the tools to help you get the job done.